Callum, you know you've had quite an interesting day when Sky Sports follow you around. How was it? Yeah, it's been good. Um, kind of just a day in the life, normal day kind of from training across to uni. And yeah, it's been nice um, having the cam cameras around, really. It always perks the boys up a bit. Sky obviously saw you guys at training for the morning and the afternoon session. You rushed across here and got changed and uh, taking part in a bit of a practical session this afternoon. Yeah, um, so we were doing IV cannulation uh, where we kind of insert a needle into a blood vessel so we can have an of drugs or, or take blood ourselves so we can see what's going on. So just learning how to do that on the mannequins. Um, yeah, it's an interesting session and you know one of the best parts of medicine is when you get to be hands-on. I know you've probably taken this question a couple of times from Sky today, but how are you juggling the commitments of playing rugby for the Dragons and for Wales, and of course your studies here? Um, it's tough, you know, it takes a lot of time management and effective organisation, um, but it's been done before, Jamie's obviously famously done it, and it's nice having him there, him being kind of a, a guiding influence, and um, it just, as I say, it just requires uh, you know, an active conversation between both sides, and to be fair to them, both the university and, and the Dragons have been great at letting me miss certain things, letting me catch up and um, touch wood, it's been working well so far. Focus on the rugby now, obviously a win against Zebra on the weekend and Munster coming up quite quickly on Saturday afternoon. What are your reflections on that performance on Friday night? Um, it's been well publicised that it wasn't maybe as, as good a performance as we were hoping for. But the main thing was to get the win and, and that, that did happen. Um, we're looking to improve, you know, we won't be able to play against a strong Munster side like that on the weekend. and and still come away with, with the points. So we'll have to um, buck up our ideas a bit, but we've been working hard in training and you know there were some there were some good things against the Zebra. I thought between the 22s we were we were strong. We we kept the ball in hand as we spoke about and and, and played some good rugby, but it's just maybe in that in that final third, final um, opposition 22 when when we need to switch on a bit and and just kind of increase the accuracy and um, make it across the try line. So fantastic performance last season against Munster at home, 22-6 uh, was, was the biggest pro 12 win of the season for the Dragons. Um, you've seen Munster already beat the Scarlets and then lose narrowly to the Blues. How much time have you had to focus on them as an opposition and what can we expect from them on Saturday? Um, you know, they're, they're a strong side. Um, they were awesome against the Scarlets um, a couple of weeks ago, really dominated the kind of collisions and, and I feel that's why they, they won that game. Um, we've had a, quite a strong look at them today. Um, they've got a good kicking game, some, some good individuals, and it'll be a tough challenge. But maybe they're not not the Munster side of old, you know, that would would win European Cups and etc. And as you say, we we put in one of our best performances against them last year. So hopefully we can try and emulate that this weekend. And just lastly, a number of new players into a Dragon squad this year. There were actually five debuts in that first Pro 12 game. Want a word just quickly on Pat Howard? You popped up the uh, the ball for him to go over and uh, and finish your move against Zebra on Friday night. What's he been like? I know you've only had the one game, but what's he been like coming into that team and coming into that back line? Yeah, he's been great. Um, we've got quite a strong South African influence now across the team, and Pat's you know epitomised our, our first couple of games, and that he's been really hard working. He's put in a couple of good shifts and. You know, got got the rewards. Scored scored two tries in the first two games, and, and he's looking strong, sharp, and you know he's, he'll really complement our back line. So great, definitely a great addition to the team. Well, thanks for your time. Good luck for Saturday.